Hello there, my beautiful and lovely gamers. My name is Jones. Today we are finally taking a look at the uh, advanced dive guide. Now, I have to do a, a disclaimer before this. So, what you will notice is I won't go too much into detail and I will be giving very specific example later in the video and essentially i can't go over like oh yeah they do this so the enemy team can then counter by doing that and if that happens then i need to do this to counter that and then right it's gonna be my team does this and that happens and this is how that plays this is the advantage that happens and this is what we can play that day. it's gonna be very very general very very um I, I can't go over every single explanation because then the video will be too long too much in depth too confusing to kind of go over so i hope that that's okay with people as always if there's any question then drop them down to the comment section and would like on the video would also be appreciated since i've been spending um i've been doing over 30 recordings of this now and every recording is normally half an hour so uh, that will always be nice and again i'm doing the same on twitch where you guys can ask me questions where this is much easier to do so i'll link that down as we monday wednesday friday um uh, yeah as we monday wednesday friday where i do this and what reviews and also play a little bit myself and as always guys if you're interested in private coaching it's 50 euros for a two hour session hit me up on discord which our discord server is linked down in the description with some amazing people i can probably also answer some of these questions um for you now so just to talk about dive comp real quick to understand the dive comp what you need to understand about dive comp is what is it so when you look at a team composition you should not just say oh dive a lot of people think this is dive i've heard a lot of people say that that is dive and it's not where's my draw tool there we go okay so dive compositions and general team composition is very easy to break down look at the main tank or find the main tank then look at the rank reverse of the tank roster then look at the dps's and then look at the support line do it in that order and it's very easy to break down everything so dive and we'll only be taking a look we will not be taking a look at hammond dive today i can make an own video if people are interested in that we're only going to take a look at winston diva dive so we locate the main tank and we see winston and then it immediately it's dive that is normally what defines dive comp and to to kind of generalize it more a lot of people say that this is what without the hammond without hammond being here this is what is dive comp now it's winston and diva those two are dive comp and that is because that's what we look at when we look at the tank line right if you see a reinhardt it's a it's it's death ball it's it's normally death ball if you'll see orissa it's normally a form of poke comp right and that's what we kind of look at so first look at that and then you look at dps's because there's dive which is kind of this like general term for winston diva compositions or winston compositions or whatever high mobility tank compositions you could say and then you have all kinds of under you have heavy dive which is kind of like this you have double sniper dive you have dive with a poke comp you have dive with brigitte and whatever right like you have all these kind of other dive styles that you can use so that's dive comp so to understand dive comp to understand anything you need to understand the tank line how the tanks are supposed to play and that's what we're taking a look at again because these two are stat at static this is dive then we have this form of dive and then we have a dive with a widowmaker and a hanso and so on so definitely we'll take a look at these two and explain their actions for you to actually understand what dive is because dive is not leap the target and kill it that is not why and how we play dive comp so when we play dive comp what you want to do it's very simple. The Winston's job is a couple of things. And there's a good reason that we play the Winston. So, dive is mobile main tanks. Compared to Death Ball and Poke Comp or Ristacons, whatever. It's mobile main tanks. That's what we play around. So, that means that, for example, when the Winston on our attack is up here, he controls this area. He can dive and move in here. He controls this area. He also controls this area. He can control that area. He can control this area, right? That's areas that you can jump to, drop bubble, or just stand and Tesla can deal damage, right? That is the areas that he control. Meaning, if there's a Reinhardt, compared to a Reinhardt, the defensive Reinhardt, this Reinhardt now controls everything in front of him. And potentially everything behind him, except that we are running dive comp. So the Reinhardt here is controlling, you know, he's controlling his front line and so on. He can block with shield and whatnot, right? And he can control this choke so that people cannot move through. But the Winston, but he he only really controls a little bit area around him. He can move backwards and so on. So he can go from here and to position himself here. And now he controls this area, right? But the Winston can move so much more rapidly than the Reinhardt. So even if the Reinhardt is on the high ground, he only controls the high ground and the small areas around the high ground where he can drop to. That's the only area that he would be controlling, right? So he would be controlling like, you know, like this, essentially, if he's on the high ground. That's what he controls. He can get there very easily without having to run a lot, right? So that's why one of the big reasons that we run dive is the amount of, of areas that we can control constantly be on. That is some of the things that we can do with dive comp. Um, 
so Winston's job is again to control main groups. That that is true. It, his job is to you know Tesla can in certain chokes, but Winston's is not good against main tanks. He's not good against other tanks. If you think Winston versus Ryan how this close up, Ryan is gonna win. Or uh, Sorry versus Ryan, Winston, especially with Sorry with good charge. Sorry will win. Diva versus Winston. Diva will win. So on, so on, so on. Winston is not good against other tanks, and therefore his job is not other tanks. His job is to control chokes, right? So let's say I'm, I'm defending here, right? I can just to use this as a weird example. I can like Tesla cannon in the in this area, so that if Squishies try to run past it, they'll take a lot of damage, so the tanks will take a lot of damage. So I'm taxing them as they move in. Sure, I can do that. But if the Ryan, if there's a Ryan here and he runs into me, I, as Winston, is gonna get pushed back immediately. There's nothing I can do. I'll rather want to when he when the Reinhardt pushes in, right? He'll he's now he's on attack for big, now blue team is on attack. So when he pushes in with his Arya and whatever, I'll rather just say, okay, you're pushing in. I'll go for that sweet, you know, Anna and Yara combo that you have behind that you have behind there. Right? I'll rather go for these guys and let you guys run alone and then kill, deal with these guys and bubble them and Tesla can them and fight with those guys because I can't fight this anyway, right? So I'll rather just jump over it, right? That's all. So I, I, Winston is not good against all the tanks. He's good against clusters and to he can he can Tesla can and chokes and then he can leap out of that and so on and do like t uh, tickling damage and so on. But he's not good against other tanks. Okay, that's the reason that we have Diva. Diva is far more better. Diva is Winston's. Um, it's kind of like when Diva and Winston play together. It's like the the Diva is the damage and the the anti tank version of a Winston. So Diva works far better, right? If there's a Saria here. Right, that tries to push my 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 poor wins back, and but the diva is here. The sorry is going to lose immediately. Right, the diva is the the backbone of the Winston. He protects the Winston and helps. So when this Winston is taking this high ground, for example, the the diva is up here with him right now to make sure that he does not get pushed back. For example, by an enemy dive comp, a, a defensive dive comp. If the diva isn't here in main. Then they can send their diva up and push my Winston back, and then they will just retake this space. Right? I'll get pushed back into line of sight of the enemy team. I'll take damage as a pack out. I might die. We'll we'll have to reset. I can't leap up here. If the diva is with me, then I can go up here, and then the diva is up here with me, and now this diva cannot win. So now she has to give space. Of course, the Winston and the diva can go up, and then both tanks and the, both tank sides will just roll their face against the keyboard and see who wins, right? And then it's, it's a little bit different. But the whole idea is that the diva secures the Winston. Where the Winston goes, the diva protects him, and make sure that the Winston does not just get bullied back by everything. The diva is the anti-tank. He is also the damage output and protects the Winston, and the Winston protects the diva, right? So anti-tank and much better at controlling main groups in the form of the main tanks, the tanks of the enemy team. The diva is far more better to control that. And if you ever watch pro play, you a lot of time have seen um, this happen before. Okay, so that's the two roles: control main group and protect the Winston, so the Winston doesn't get pushed. Deal more with squishies and control areas, right? And again, by the Winston going up on this high ground, the tanks of the enemy team lose the space automatically, right? The, the Ryan is here, okay. I'll drop here a bubble, and now he's dead. My team will just rush him. The diva will shoot from high ground. Everyone from main will push him. I will push him from behind with Tesla cannon. Right, he's dead. So by automatic taking here, the Winston, the the right automatically gives this amount of space. He has to. He has no choice. If he doesn't, he's overextended and will die. So he'll automatically have to give space, and the team automatically have to do all kinds of shit. So if there's a Cree standing on the point here, right, then my Ryan has problems holding up here. Because, again, I can just go here, especially if you have, a, like, a tracer coming from this side or whatever, right? So, automatically, I'm taking space by going to areas where I can dive the main tank's squishy areas. Because then these guys will either be split from their team and killed, or be split from the team and cannot help the team as they're slowly but surely dying. So, let's bring this into a more example. I hope that this makes sense. Again, if there's any question, please just ask me on Twitch or ask me on Twitter or on the comment section below. Um, and it's much... I'll try to answer them. I have to kind of try to go through this as fast as possible. So, I hope... That this makes sense for everyone so far. Um, okay, so let's 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 take another example that I uh, brought up uh, when I was coaching an Italian organization, I believe, uh, a pretty good one, like pretty high rank and so on. They paid also pretty nicely, let's say it like that. Um, and um, this scenario kind of came up that they, we are the blue team. That's us. And this is also a very nice way to just show like trading of resources. We are the blue team, and the enemy team is the red team. Let's just let's not bring in the weathermakers. Let's let's try to keep this simple. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we have four. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's just have it like this. Okay, the Zenyatta here is is more a 
Yeah, let's give this guy some mercy. That's how it was. Yeah, okay. So, we are the blue team. We are defending. The enemy team is pushing up. I'll actually give them a payload just to give a visual representation of where the main group is pushing from. So, they're here, right? So the Winston and the Divas, kind of a little bit in the front line or whatever. They're looking for a dive target or whatever. The Winston, the Divas, the, the Mercy, god damn it, is kind of with them healing, whatever. And the Sinyala's pushing them, so here. The Tracer want to kill the Sinyala. He's in, he's, a, he's isolated, whatever. If he goes alone, the, 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 there will be Matrix, there will be healing, and the, it, there's a big chance it will fail. There's also a Mega Pack right there. There's a big chance that the, he can rotate or whatever. Our tanks are up here on this high ground. And we don't want this Winston to dive our own Senyata. A lot of times there was a Tracer in play or whatever. But we don't want this to happen. We don't want to lose our Senyata first. So what we'll do is that instead of doing what some teams and then full commit dive with this. This is bad. Full commit dive like this is bad. Putting three players on him. One, because now there's no tanks to deny any of this space. So the enemy team, the enemy tanks can do whatever they want. And two, we are just going past the enemy main group and ignoring them and moving past them like that. So instead of that, let's go like this. The Winston dives from high ground. He dives from high ground. We bubbles. Can bubble, for example. So he can take less damage from Seattle. Also, so he blocks off damage from behind and healing. Right? If there's an Ana or if there's some, the, the Mercy or whatever, right? So he blocks off healing. The Tracer comes from behind. The Sinyata dies immediately. He is completely 110% dead. He can't get saved. He's now dead. And that's great. So we got the first pick here. On top of that, while this happens, the Diva goes here, drops down or whatever, plays here, drops whatever or whatever way she wants, and pressures the enemy team. Right? Maybe he, she pressures the Mercy. Maybe she pressures the main tank. One of these two get pressured by the Diva. If the if if the enemy team's diva go to oh I can counter the Winston then their Winston or their Mercy dies to our diva, and then we don't then we don't just kill one because we killed them, the diva goes for Winston the Winston moves backwards with the tracer it's two v one at the same time this diva can one v two these guys he can kill she can either focus fire on the Mercy and make the Mercy leave the Winston or he will just kill the Winston as the Mercy leaves him right so at this point we have full control on top of that the Arsenal is still one hundred and ten percent safe right now. And, worst case scenario, our Zenyatta gets pushed, our D.Va can rotate this way, right? Maybe he dropped this way, he can drop down here, whatever. He can rotate this way, he can maybe Matrix, our supports can heal him, because we have this fully under control, right? We got one kill, and now if the trace, if the D.Va leaves his Winston, our D.Va will counter there, and there's 2v1 here, right? So that gives us a huge advantage by not full committing. With our, with our entire tank line just diving and leaving. If we had died with our entire tank line, instead I'll just try to reset everything. There we go. If we die with everything, and yeah, we bubble, and whatnot, right? Then we, for example, the Winston can dive here, and while they del they, they delete um, this thing, these guys can kind of collapse and deny a lot of space, right? Notice that the Mercy is now a lot, is now standing here without anyone dealing with her. And even, the, and the Trace this is a 2v1. This guy probably took some form of damage. We can now push in on these guys, and either deal with the, the D.Va first, right? Like, jumping the D.Va, damage boosting ours, right? Really destroying this uh, these guys. Again, we can bubble with the Winston to deny the Sinyata from dealing any form of damage. d the D.Va and killing her, and now it's... Right? So instead of doing that, we are then allowing a lot of free space for their tank line to move. So the D.Va slows down and stops their tank line. Because what, what the enemy team has to do when she goes here is, you know, they need to, to stop this from happening. Somehow getting her to back off. Maybe dragging both these two to deal with one D.Va. And the Winston is very, very useless at this point. Very sorry for that DM. I should have muted Discord. I should have known that this was going to happen, right? So, by using the Diva to control this main group, it allows for more play. Of course, it's far more in depth. Normally, there would be other DPSs that we have to take into consideration um, and so on. So, for example, if there's a Widowmaker up here that also gives our Widowmaker, a, now our Diva, an option to rather push their Widow and allow our Widow here to free fire onto their team, right? If there's a Tracer on our back line to attack Nassinyala, that changes some of the story. And also depending on, okay, where is our healer? What is our other healer doing? And so on. But this is to show how Divecom works. Far more than just, we just jump this stuff. We just jump something. Um, another another very good example to, to kind of show the exact same thing is on Blizzard World, which I cannot find because I'm blind. Good job, Jonal. There we go. ERT. Um, so this happened during, you probably remember this, this match. I remember who played against who. Um... Yeah, I forgot who played against who. I, I did cover it on my channel some time ago. But essentially, it was a very, very standard setup. It was... Um, 
Let's find the dive teams. Actually, I have this strong team compositions. Great. Heavy dive. It, the, the attacking team was playing heavy dive. Just standard, just standard double flanker dive. Dive. And I think the enemy team was playing some form of uh, defensive team composition with like prop, like poke comp or whatever. They're playing poke comp, right? With this, they had a Widowmaker. Um, they had a Sinyata, I remember. And that was like the whole key point. They had a Mercy because I believe it was during Mercy meta. They also had a Sinyata. Where is Sen? Right. Right. And they had, uh, they had a Diva himself, I believe. I think it was something like this. I don't recall the last DPS. It's not that important. It's the example that counts. They had a Winston here. This is actually not even Heavy Dive. I spawned the wrong one. Great. This is, this, see, this is recording is going fucking fantastic, right? Um, there we go. That's the Heavy Dive that we're looking for, right? So what we saw, I remember this. I don't recall, I ex again, I don't recall the exact same. We had our Tracer over here and the Winston and so on, kind of getting zoned out a little bit. And what I remember happens was um, that the, uh, the Winston dived. He pushed. He, he kind of. He, he pushed up here. He dived. The tracer went in, and the Genji followed him to kill the Sinyata. At the same time, the, the while right, these guys were kind of rotating backwards, kind of trying to save the Sinyata, kind of poke or whatever. I don't recall what happened to the Widowmaker. I actually think I actually so, said in the video, I have no clue where the Widow is because I can't see her. Um, the Diva went just up here. He went up to the Saigon. Instead of like full committing into it, there's already three people in this back line. Just killed the lead in the Sinyata, right? There's already two people here. So the D.Va went up here and started shooting down on their tanks and applying pressure to the main group, right? Again, sandwiching them, right? Not committing into this because there was no need to. So instead, she played here on top of the fact that her range, she was out of range to fly that lot far because the Winston always has longer range than the D.Va went if he wants to. The D.Va went up to this high ground and started pressuring their main tanks and the main group to weaken them and push them back. This happened in an Overwatch League match, right? So the D.Va secures the Winston as he pushed up, right? Matrixes him and tries to make sure that he can die with as much HP as possible. And then she starts controlling main tanks instead, especially when the Winston wants to con to die backlines and squishes and so on, right? Then she rather will control main main tanks and main group targets and tanks and whatnot to kind of deal with that and apply some, some good pressure. If you... Uh, and then if the Winston wants to deal with tanks, of course, then the D.Va backs him off, backs him up, right? Tries to... Just to help him deal with those tanks because he's that's her job and i hope that this explains far more how we use dive on top of that if you notice that a lot of time these guys drop from high ground they don't leap from high ground onto right they, they don't waste their leaps if they can so if they can just drop down and deal with stuff and then leap out it's much safer and much better as well um just to kind of bring that one in i see a lot of people not doing that um i hope that this helps i hope that this makes uh, stuff a little bit more clear again please ask question if there is any um, and I hope I see you guys um, soon. I would also like feedback on this uh, type of format. And a like on the video would be nice since I put so much fucking time into it. Um, but a feedback would be nice about how the format is. If it's good, it's bad. If you want to see more, what then you want to see? What I can improve? What uh, you thought was good with this? Was it nice and short? Was it too long? Should I made a part two instead of just pushing everything through one part? Um, and so on. I would like that feedback down in the comment section. Anyway, guys, I love you guys very much. Please stay positive. Take care of yourself. Might have been a specific journal. I stuttered. My name has been Jonal. <laughs> and as always, guys, please keep the enemy in your crosshair.